Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be using the Skater Kids stamp set from Mom Elephant and Simon Says Stamp. This is an exclusive for the Stamp Temper celebration over at Simon Says Stamp. I'm also going to be using another stamp set from Mom Elephant. This is Tandem Extras. I'm just going to use the top of that balloon from that stamp set. So you guys may have noticed that I haven't uploaded a new card video in nearly two weeks. I've been super, super sick. I lost my voice. I'm just now feeling better. So I'm happy to jump right in here and create a card with you guys. So I fir first arranged all of my images on some watercolor paper. This is Strathmore cold pressed paper. I've cut it to four and a quarter by five and a half tall. Um, that's because at, at this point I thought the card was going to be A2. I will be changing to a different size card eventually, and you'll see that. But I just want to let you guys know that this is the size that I'm working with at the moment. I did only stamp the top portion of that balloon, so I masked off the string. And then I drew in my own string using this envelope addressing pen from Pilot. This is a waterproof black pen, and so it works great for when I'm doing some water coloring over the top. So I just drew in that little squiggle line so it looks like the cat is holding the balloon string. And I also put in some loops on there so it looks like it's tied in a bow. So the one thing I want to show you guys in this video is how to create a sky background with clouds. Like in a real, kind of a really happy blue uh, sky in the background. And I didn't want to have to worry about having to paint around any of these images. So the best thing to do is to add some masking fluid. So I'm using some drying gum on top. And once that was dry, I moved on to the painting. I'm going to be using some Hydrus watercolors. These are liquid watercolors from Dr. P.H. Martins. And I'm going to wet the surface of my watercolor paper first. This is really important when you're creating a kind of a sky background. So I'm wetting that area pretty liberally. I want quite a bit of water on there. Then I let it sit for just a couple minutes so that that water could really soak into the paper. Then I brought over my pigment. Now this is a this is a phthalo blue, and it's a really, really strong pigment, so it's gonna really move around quite a bit. I'm just spotting in some different color. I'm leaving some gaps so that I have a little, some white areas. And I also have my board here on an incline. You do want a little bit of an incline. This is just sitting on top of an acrylic block at the very top. So after I put in that color and kind of dabbed it on, I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm going to start sopping up some of that color and really dabbing away some of that color that's in the blue sky. This is going to give me some really light areas and give me some more of a, a medium shade. So I've got some of the more intense blue, I've got those white areas where I didn't add any color at all, and then I have this kind of middle shade from the paper towel. This is just going to add in some nice medium areas. So as this sky background dries, it's going to look really, really cool. It's going to look like an actual sky with some fluffy clouds. It's going to look really pretty. If you guys hear anything in the background, that is because it suddenly started raining while I was doing this voiceover. So not a sunny, cloudy day outside right now. It's a great cloudy day right now. So I'm just heating this with my heat tool to speed up the drying process. You can see how pretty that blue turned out as the, the cloudy sky. So I'm going to start painting um, some other, other areas on this scene. Started by putting a black background on the bottom. This is just going to be kind of like some asphalt that the little cat is skating on. Then I let that dry and then I removed that drying gum, the masking fluid, and the white area is revealed underneath. This is a really great technique to use if you want to add an, a fun background but don't want to have to worry about painting around all those areas. So I'm going to speed up the painting process and turn on some music and I'll catch up with you after everything's watercolored.
So pretty much everything was colored, but then I decided I didn't like having that balloon being yellow. So I decided to make it pink or kind of a red color so that it ties in the color of the hearts on the cat's shirt and also the color of the skateboard. So I just uh, stamped that one more time on some watercolor paper, painted it in that red shade, trimmed it out, and then used a black marker to kind of paint the edges of that cut piece so that after I adhere it, that you want to be able to tell that it's been cut out. So I cut down my whole watercolor scene to be the size of a four bar card, which is three and a half wide by four and seven eighths tall. And I adhered that down onto the card front with some Tombow Extreme Adhesive. I also rounded the corners with a half inch corner rounder. I used my We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper. And then some Baker's Twine from Lawn Fawn to add a little bit of detail right along the edge of the card. So that finishes the card for today. Super simple and easy. I hope that gave you an idea of what you can do when you want a nice, happy, cloudy, cloudy sky background on your cards. Thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next card video. so much for watching today's video. On screen are three recent videos that I've shared on YouTube, so I hope you'll check those out. Uh, you can head over to my blog at kwarnerdesign.com to see more info on today's card, including all of the supplies with links to online stores. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.